Welcome to Altero, a world filled with romance, seduction, danger, oh no, watch out, intrigue, ooh, what's that about, night creatures, ow, secrets, shh, I'll never tell, and of course, food, yummy. So join us in Altero for Eat, Slay, Love. Eat, Slay, Love. Welcome to Quest Keep, where we are a bunch of dorky filmmakers and friends who work at a film studio together and also play Dungeons and Dragons. This is 5E in a homebrew world in a custom adventure called Eat, Slay, Love. And before we get into the finale of The Tower, we first have announcements. Yes. You have to take us away. Hello, 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 and welcome. A uh, little throwback because I found it really funny the other day. Hello! Um, <laughs> that was a great episode start. Um, let's see. One thing I'm going to mention is, uh, if what do you do for your minis? I don't know what you do when you need to create a custom miniature, but we use Hero Forge. Hero Forge. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Go check out Hero Forge. There's a link in the chat, and we'll throw it in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. But also, if you're going to be buying either your STL file and print them yourselves, or order a custom miniature directly from Hero Forge, please use our link and let them know that we sent you. Uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, uh, if you want to support the channel and you like what you see, you can go to Patreon. Yes, please go to Patreon. You can join as a free member, or you can find one of our tiers that matches the extras that you would like to receive and support us at that level. You can join our Heroes Haven tier and get the best bang for your buck. Still open there. And uh, uh, then you can see awesome things, like we record uh, what has evolved into basically an improv game. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it's, chaos. it's fun. Um, you can uh, you get that. You If you get in there, you can also get a VIP badge on Twitch, and you get a, a access to our Patreon-only uh, Discord channel, where it's just the Patreon supporters in there, so a little private chat access. Uh, we take suggestions from our Patreon people for prompts for sound check and also for questions for Dice Unfolded, which is the other show that we shoot at the end of these episodes. And my mind's drawing... Oh. We also uh, tend to chat a lot more, us personally, in the Patreon chat. This is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So if you want to have a chat with us, we are often in there. I'm having a little noodle in there every few days. A little noodle. You're, I'm sorry, a what? A little what? little noodle. Okay. Noodle in through. All right, okay. Posting yeah. pictures from the Journal of Mog. Yeah, I do <laughs> post my pictures of my of Mog's diary. They're uh, uh, not poorly done, but they are fun. <laughs> diary, for now, what will eventually be in lore as the Book of Mog. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> By the time Ready to Roll happens, we'll come across it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nine years and you're a legend. <laughs> That's all it takes. Uh, you, otherwise, you can go to... Uh, look at us after four days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can get merch on our website, ttrbg.ca. And, yeah, we, as Roz mentioned, are playing in the homebrew world of Altero, created by Matt and Roz. But in the real world, we are recording this and playing on the traditional territories of the Musque Musqueam people. Bad mouth there. Uh, and if you want to find out more about the lands that you inhabit, or just wherever, go to native-land.ca and learn more about the lands you inhabit. Hi. Hi. You want a little closer? Yeah. yeah. Aww. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, <laughs> take us back into the fantasy world, Rose, please. <laughs> okay, I'm there now. Hmm. Good. <laughs> but where is there? Oh, yeah. The void. Are you, are you high or something? Is it, where is there? <laughs> Dude, it's like space. <laughs> but not. But like, also is? Yeah. Because it is those things. Yeah. And not those things. Ooh. Whoa. At the tower, too. <laughs> Here in a void, an endless nothingness pulled into a plane by Master Seventeen a great monk who defies death, expectations, and godliness by choosing to walk their own path through time and space. And collected these 
four seemingly low-level random heroes in an age of Altero that is Ouch. predominantly about peace. You're starting out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's I'm lots not of ways to I mean, Alan isn't offended. Anovan uh, has has uh, opinions for sure. <laughs> it feels like a giant hug. <laughs> the idea of this place is because the four of you are being woven into a tale of a future to come by the fates of Altero. And something about this journey, this path, interacts with Master 17 in a most deadly way. Do you remember what he told you on the first level of the tower? Betty, you wanna go? That we would need to call on, call on each of these people and we would remember a code or, or a phrase or an item to yeah. call on them? That part? Yeah. That's part of it. It's that we've been brought here and there will be a series of events involving those people. Right. Uh, and he's hoping, he does seem like he is hoping that we, in our efforts, will change some things that will convince him to not fulfill his job as the executioner of the god of love. Right. That was so much more succinct than what I said. Eh. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have that in the opening announcements. <laughs> <laughs> and so on the first level of this tower, you met your first person outside. A cleric of death. Rassar. 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 And you will know Rassar again in the world, although you will forget the events of the tower. Uh -huh. When you need him most. Daggerfinger. Daggerfinger. <laughs> Yuck. Somehow will become important. <laughs> it hurts so much. And then he brought you up to the second level of the tower, where you met another adventurer, a victim of a curse, of the god of lies. Rar. Rar. A bear. A chef. A bear who is a chef. A chef who is a bear. Yes, chef. And presumably an underwear m -m model? We, we don't know yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have thoughts. It's not in my notes. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> it's going in. We've got a spoon. But interacting there with another god. Spoon. And a spoon. Oh. Yeah. So should you need the assistance on a path forward to find the truth, you will ha ha have a spoon. <laughs> 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 Somehow, a spoon will guide your way. How, we ever how have to do, do, do a prison Good luck. Break? <laughs> We're set for prison breaks, okay? <laughs> oh, it's not every spoon. We're just yeah. like, spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Is that seem relevant to you for some reason? <laughs> <laughs> and then upstairs again to another tower level where you interacted with another character and another god. And in this case, a lost brother, unable to find their way home, but an emissary of joy and aid and kindness and all of these beautiful good things, but still interacting here in the Tower of Doom. Mm -hmm. Nicest turtle you ever met. Yeah. <laughs> he was even a teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's very sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the lifespan of t -t turtles is. So I won't call them young, but he had young vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> job, bro. <laughs> you gotta feel like they'd be more along the insanely long lifespans of a tortoise. Yeah. Than, than the medium lifespans of a turtle? Like, even yeah, some of the turtles are, are long. Sea turtles long are yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, focus. <laughs> no, I love it. Write that down for Tyson Fogles. <laughs> <laughs> How long do turtles live? <laughs> hey, Can I pitch your turtle? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dice unfolded. How long turtle live? <laughs> <laughs> and in that level, looking up oldest turtle verses. <laughs> how will you? Tortoise. How will you know again? Should you meet? Uh, that one's going to come up in a moment of need. Yes. Uh, potentially when Mog falls off a cliff. So we're going to be pushing Mog off high. Yeah. Hold, high uh, hold on to each other. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. Yeah. But in a moment of need, uh, uh, he's probably he's apparently going to show up. And help us. Should Mog fall? Mm -mm. I'll be fine. <laughs> Thunderwave. 
<laughs> and now, roll insight as you look over towards Master 17 before you travel up to the fourth level of the tower. All right, I have advantage on now. Wait, no. That's what... I do. You does... have, you'll have items on you if you've already got them. Yeah, but does that apply to not the rings. all insight or only if someone is, because it's technically it's just if someone is telling a lie. Yeah, it's just the ring of truth telling. I think it's just if you're doing it, whether uh, somebody's telling a lie. In this case, this is a general insight. Yeah. Okay. Take, take a... 17. Natural 17. <gasps> Good number. So, uh... dirty 20. And I'll lower the DC by one. Uh, got a 23. Uh, no, I was busy looking up all this <laughs> turtle versus Ornith tortoise. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be ice. much of a distinction between them, but the oldest tortoise uh, is 191 years old. <laughs> oh, that's, that's very impressive. It's pointed. I'm just imagining us having this conversation around Master 17, and he's just like, yeah, they'll get the here eventually. I met the sort of who said that they were 600 old. What's your insight? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you regaled everyone with what you think you know about how turtles age. Uh, f- 14. Okay. You're interested in the turtle conversation, but also in the idea that usually you've seen a path upwards. And in this case, instead you just see Master 17 looking a bit confused. But for the two of you who are on the other side of him and are actually able to see his face rather than just the mannerism from the side, he is looking up confused and also unsure there is a fourth level, but why does it not present itself? Um, are we, are we going to move on or what is happening? You look like, do you need the help? You're not about to get murdery, are you? With a god. Wait, are you the fourth one? No. Oh, okay. But I have built this tower and do not recognize this. You built this? Sort of. I've heard in times of uh, confusion like this, you're supposed to maybe follow your nose. Don't insult the, the man. He does have a very prominent. That's not what I meant. I how did you? Uh, how did you make this? Like, like, what kind of rocks did you pick for the uh, the building and stuff? Like, what was your what was your plan there? Did you have? Did you work with an engineer? Oh, what's your inspiration? If none of these things are real, why are some of the rocks floating? You couldn't have made it more intact. <laughs> they are not rocks. Manifestations. But of they're rocks. also not not rocks. They're I'm rolling in sight. Yes, yeah. Manifestations are probably his perceptions of like yes. trials or like a place he's yeah. been. Yeah, yeah. Oh it's God. a whole fifteen. Whether he's lying. Cosmic. Are they rocks? This is no. very important to me. They are literally me. And we're my inside will. you right now. A part of me, briefly. I know a lot about rocks. I want to come over and uh, just. You know, touch it and feel if I can feel him. I don't think um, that's what he means by it's him. Usually oh. when you're inside someone, you can feel them pretty good. And then also, yeah. like, if it was feeling him, I wouldn't touch it without asking. He brought us without our consent here. This is true. Yeah, this is not the place to worry about that. Anyway, yeah, but it's true. You should be, you know what? Don't sink to that level. Be better than him. This is what I'm saying. You reach oh, out. Oh. You touch yeah. something. Yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> I would like to de- uh, cast Detect Good and Evil to see if there's anywhere that's like emanating one or the other particularly well mm-hmm. as like a hidden door to the next area. And I'm just fondling stonework. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start as with you. dwarves do. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is the strength of the will of an entity that is beyond a being a person and you are suddenly flooded with what it would be like to be a mountain when an ocean crashes against you and you still stand your ground. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Did you just channel the Philip Uh, I just uh, fondled my way to greatness. Really? <laughs> That's how I did it too. <laughs> Oh God, okay, so 
<laughs> I, I, like we we laugh and judge, but oh she God. did she d- did just steal all the hand gestures from you. Yeah. Yeah. So we can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your spicy? It's the it's yeah. the. What do you mean? Yeah. It's the very Remember, <laughs> like this now. <laughs> <laughs> but what's what's in there? <clears throat> Great versions of both of those experiences emanate directly above you. Well, that's a bit confusing. Is there like division? Is it like one side more than the other? Can I feel like a little yin and yang sort of swirly bit or? When you feel the crash between the two of them, what drops down is a pole suddenly into the room that you can climb. (gasps) And Master Do Seventeen is like, I believe we are in danger. With in, in, including you. But this is this is all you. Yes, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting for him. Granted, it's interesting for me too, but I assume it's more interesting for him because he doesn't need to be concerned about dying. And uh, he goes to, there's a cir- circle in the, a circle space that the pole goes up through, uh, and he just walks up to the pole, and then you watch him adjust and doesn't touch the uh, slippery metal pole, and instead uh, you just watch him look down, and then he floats upwards through the space. Whoa! Whoa! That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's impressive. Okay. He knows how to put on a show. I'm going to try. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do like he does. Does this survive? No. Has it been 10 m- m- minutes uh, since our last door d- 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 deal? Okay. I'm gonna come up to it. Meanwhile, I'm eating the snacks that the bear gave us. Like, <laughs> and I go up to the dance and start, uh, the pole, and start dancing with it and see if I up the pole. Do I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, roll a dex check for me. <laughs> how, how good is your pole dance that tell teleports you up. 16. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I uh, just like, you know, flipping around and grasping it with my legs. So I'm like. Wow, uh, while you snack. While I snack, yeah. Hey, super impressive. Yeah, getting back uh, 17 hit points. Amazing. Mm-hmm. I will admit I am not the most dexterous individual when it comes to things such as this. Perhaps we have to uh, p- approach it in our own way, but. Uh... Try right against it. If there's a thing you have to climb, you sh- doesn't hurt to at least try to climb it, and I'll try to c- climb it. Great. So you're gonna go for more of like a yeah. two hands, foot on the yep. yeah. Uh, just d- dex or yeah. yeah. Everybody's you can easily traverse this as soon as you interact with it in a way that you want to move upwards. It supports that. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a four. <clears throat> So that doesn't work great for me. <laughs> it's like one up, back down, a bit, <laughs> up a couple more. Uh, then maybe, and I do try the it more was mind. Oiled matter. after me. Yes. <laughs> you can dry your hands. <laughs> I don't have chalk here. No, just wipe them at least get these. The weather. snack that I was eating was really oily, and I got it all over my hands and pulls. <laughs> it's there's dust all over the place. I was not the best in my physical education studies at the academy. We know. Uh, <laughs> we can tell. Uh, I will try the more mind over matter approach of it. And you you make your way upwards on this side. Uh, on this approach, look, super fun. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I sort of grab on the side and do the like, wrap your legs around it and sort of spin. And I'm gonna use athletics uh, to sort of spin my way up. <laughs> 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 Just peaches starts playing. <laughs> uh, Twenty four. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. So, yeah. I told you peaches starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway up, you manage a helicopter, then you come back around. The Woo! lights just start strobing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> No. There's a chair up at the top of my head. Yeah. Just like stand on the side and tip it over. <laughs> well, suck on that, Jerry. I'm just gonna <laughs> grab it and start like 
Yeah. Well, let's see. Genuine? Gyrate your way up there. Then I gotta turn and grab it from behind and slide down it. Come on, man. See if lifts me up somehow. Yeah. Clutch onto it with your butt cheeks and your tail. Just my tail around, but like slowly. Just imagine like Ren and Stimpy cheeks coming around. Hang on to my butt cheeks. <laughs> How to toast man. Uh, what am I rolling? Acrobatic? Sure. Okay. Uh, 14. You get up there. <laughs> <laughs> no one's no one's there to watch it anymore, so it's really just for you. <laughs> yeah. If that's what yeah. <laughs> Dad's like, nobody's watching, baby. Yeah. Are your ass cheeks chafed when you come up? That's the important question. No. <gasps> it's not their first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> and the energy of the pole has, no, it's uh, true, like, don't laugh, but laugh, is greeting you in the room as you meet, Chris, come on out here. Hey. hey. Oh, come join the team. Let's go. Here. And, <laughs> oh, you are so <laughs> So please describe for us what they see as you are in the middle of this room and you embody what they were just feeling if they let go of some inhibitions and thinking too much about themselves and the tower in the moment of dance and freedom a little bit. You're there in the room and what do they see? And then we're gonna talk about what you're doing as well there, but describe yourself. Uh, you see a small satyr uh, with curly hair and curly horns holding a bag dressed in what looks like it could be adventurer's gear. It also could be for a fun night out in the tavern that includes safe words. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's holding a large book, he has some stop. glasses, <laughs> and he's clapping at your performance. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very excitedly. <laughs> and he says, oh, congratulations on your excellent job. <gasps> Mr. Dennis. Thank you. <laughs> well, see another good, there's another nice one. Hello. Yes. Hello. Ah, nice to meet you. He says, hello. My name is Inapropos Stapeltaft. Does anybody know how I got here? In, in, in Inapropos Inapropos Stapeltaft. Inapropos is Master 17. Tough. Standing I am around so anywhere? Sorry. Or is yes. he gone? Your name is a mouthful for my dwarven mouth. Hmm. You can call me Propos. 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 Okay, Propos. I can do that. Propos. That guy over there, he brought us all here. We're inside him oh. right now. Yeah, this is like a manifestation. How exciting. Yeah, if you fondle something. the rocks, you're fondling him. Oh, I am always happy to fondle things. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I know what this floor is about. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to sit over here, if that's okay. <clears throat> then it's probably about you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, How many uh, beds are in this room? <laughs> that's a good None, uh, and that's what makes it interesting. A large, empty, open space. It's just like a big swing. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't hold it at the bottom of all. Oh. Master 17, though, seems to be looking very intently at the open space next to you. So, why are you here? This guy, his brothers are here. We have we started outside and then came inside with the very creepy guy and then we had to fight the thing and got hurt and then learned some stuff about him and then we went to and we met this very fun bear who was cooking a bunch of stuff who has a curse and then we met a uh, very nice but uh, with a very sad story turtle uh, who needs help. Uh, we're supposed to meet him again and we're probably supposed to meet you again somewhere yeah. in the world. So you know what occurs to me that um, Master Seventeen didn't recognize up here, so maybe yes. he uh, he brought us here. Maybe he did not bring. Did you? What were you doing before this? Oh, uh, well, I was in the middle of an orgy slash lecture at the university at which I teach. Oh, orgy lecture? Yes, that reminds me. I should probably just sanitize my hands. <laughs> you have the pump? <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. I, uh... Don't conjure, do. conjure mage hand and a, a, a spectral hand shakes Ooh, your hand back. This must be very fun. Can you change size? Never mind. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it can. Never mind. <clears throat> hmm, Allah, when are you downstairs? 
Yeah. You detect good and evil. Yeah. Bit of a mix up here. It stands next to you. What? The evil or the good? Or both? Which is much more fun. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Hmm. Perhaps together we will make it reveal itself to us. Because although you are here for the same reason as the other levels. Okay, this is the right person that you meant to bring? But there's something Well, I don't mean a particular. I mean what is needed is brought. They need you. Oh, excellent. I have many things in this bag, but we will, well, maybe we should get to those when we know each other a little bit better. Hmm. (laughs) I'm gonna detect good and evil again to see if I can get a strong enough feeling of like what side by side, similar to uh, when I was blinded and just was like, that's evil. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) Uh, Sort of get a feel for which it is. And what is your nature as, as you play your character? They are inherently good. Yeah. And Allah would feel from you the mixture of humanity. Yeah. Uh, irreverent uh, and meaning, uh, yeah, a certain amount of chaotic good and always looking for fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm there with you. Uh, <laughs> it's a fancy little fun. Yeah. yeah. And is there like the feeling of an evil figure that I can't see there? Yes. I'm just gonna punch in the empty space and hope for the best. <laughs> oh no, hello! Roll an attack. That's quite the punch. At what? Good form. I wonder. 23. Ah! <gasps> oh! And suddenly revealing itself standing quite close to you is, um, um. Good go. It is an unusual looking goat, and it has been uh, just. Did you just fist a goat into existence? How did you do that? A goat? Is this not your goat? This is not my goat. Okay. I roll first. I wouldn't say I fisted it into existence. Uh, Was a Ah! mighty fine fist. Well, that was a a, a one. (gasps) For what were you doing? I was anal- handling, I was pss, 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 <laughs> speaking to the, to the goat. Roll your Good old mog one hand. <laughs> 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 What's your backstory? Oh, that's 60. Okay. Oh. 67. Oh, you thought it was nine. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit. 67. <laughs> 67. Okay. Um, I was almost a prophet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't take any damage from this, uh-huh. but instead telepathically into your mind you hear... Where are we? Just, just her. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, Miss, Miss, Mister, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Um, M. Goat. Uh, we are in a a tower that is also a man. Um, if you fondle the rocks, you fondle him. I. Oh, you're scary. Are uh, you speaking out loud? Yes. <laughs> this. Well, that's an evil fucking goat. Mm-hmm. You oh. think that the, the, oh, the, the goat is evil? Yeah, yeah that's why arms? I punched it. That's it, why I could tell that. You know. It didn't appreciate oh. this. It did not appreciate that. Are, wait, why are you talking at the g- g- goat as if it asked you something just it, now? It asked me, where are we? And I oh, was super oh. <laughs> none of us really know. <laughs> the you goat thought. asked you. Yeah, my brain. You, oh. oh, see, this is about you. This isn't about me. And I uh, cast attack thoughts on the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's see what the intelligence reading is. It works. Um, if anything, I, this is an Allah thing. This is not. It has an intelligence of 25. Holy so shit. Okay. We should be good. That's good. That's smartest mm. ever. Uh, and its interest in you, it still stays very close to you. So throughout this whole thing, um, and you can roll a perception check as you just sort of get a... I don't mean uh, to be offensive. Um, I don't know much about satyrs. Um, you're not related, are you? Excuse me. I'm so I, I apologize in advance. I don't not know. Not everything with horns is related. I'm not related to him either. Yeah, that was a bad analogy. Oh, <laughs> ah, you hear it in his mind. <laughs> not a goat. Oh, you heard it too. Did he say a thing to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. 
I also I also heard yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, this isn't a goat. <clears throat> I know you. You're obviously obviously this is ostrich, but not goat. What do you call yourself? Jolene. <gasps> Jolene. Jolene. Was that all? Jolene. You all hear it. Oh. oh You're cool. not gonna take our man, are you? Just because you can. What's your detect thoughts doing? <laughs> I haven't, uh, I guess I did say I cast it on him, so I will do the deep dive on him. Um, so that's a save. Jolene, that's a very, um, uh, typically a feminine presenting name. Jolene, are you, are, uh, what, what do you identify as? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm down. Oh, excellent. Oh, the manifestation of all evil yeah. is a goat named Jolene. That is Altero, baby. Uh, <laughs> are you a god? But yeah, it's a wisdom save for whatever. Uh, let's see. So so many times. How do you not know how it works yet? <laughs> so um, yes. Yeah, so um, new to spell casting. Uh, you you it, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw and beat sixteen. Uh, I have a plus eleven on those, and so I have beat your save. Yeah. Um, but it knows you're detecting its thoughts. Yes. Yeah, I know that. Um, that's fine. Uh, I'm not trying to hide it. Um, so I don't. Uh, let's see. If it fails, I get I get the uh, the insight. But if it succeeds, the spell ends. So this is over. What uh, what, what do you want to know? What do you want? I want to know what you are. You say all. I want to understand the, 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 the nature of that. And then, what do you want? Okay. Yeah. What's your purpose? Why are you here? You're Herald! Her Herald. A Herald what, of something? What are you heralding? Or is it a man named Herald? I know a guy named Herald. H-A-R-O-L-D? Like E-R. Okay, yeah, so you're a Herald. But what? Everything? Stubbornness? No. Someone named Haladon. I'm gonna guess it's the void, because this this floor is about you. I just, are you I the just, no. floor is not about of me. all time? I'm sorry. What do you mean? He's a goat. They, they're the goat. Greatest no. of all time. Oh, like you did it. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. It is not my time to be here. Then why are you why? here? Are you, I can't tell because you're a goat. Are you pouting right now? I know you. Why you don't, you know me? I you don't, said you're I, not related. I, I'm not in this timeline. It doesn't mean I know them. Mm -hmm. Not yet. What the hell is going on? I bring the I bring readiness for sanity shattering apocalypse. See? Okay, that does sound like my wheelhouse. Yeah. It doesn't I mean am it's not about... supposed to be here yet. Oh, I uh, I do not I think that the apocalypse should be here at all. No. Yeah, that's win. Bad. Win, win. I mean, you're here now. Why don't you just like herald the whole thing out to us? I don't know it. Not much of a herald, then. Well, it's not the right Maybe time. Maybe they haven't received the, the message. S 17. That's what that was good. Yeah, then how do they know they're a herald of anything if they haven't received the message? Can I roll perception yet? to just try to like figure out why the goat knows me? Rolling perception, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know this goat? Do you take your D? &D. Hey, that someone doesn't really know how to play D&D. &D. <laughs> <Not laughs> Welcome to D&D &D instructions with Onovan and Propos. Yeah, uh, I learned and then I went away for a week. You know what he does know how to do, though? Design our fucking shirts. Yeah, oh, plug, 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 plug. Buy on ttrpg.ca. Take your D twenty. Uh, take your pick, um, and then you're rolling. Well, what? I'm sorry. Uh, we're doing a perception check, okay. and then from there we'll know what we're gonna roll next. Roll your D twenty and add your perception. Twenty two. Hey. Nice. I have perceived the goat. <laughs> and. It looks up into because it's confused why it's connected to you. You're confused why you're connected. And as you look into its eyes, this eldritch goat form just like bursts through to you about what it might actually look like, which is a terrifying assemblage of insides and outsides and limbs of things it's formed before. And it's taken the form of this Whoa. unusual uh, goat. But you hear its true nature as a lesser star spawn emissary. 
and they arrive as as heralds of events of things to come to prepare a world for the end. Oh. But it's not its time to be here. (laughs) This goat is an eldritch horror, and it tells the end of the world. What? Oh, yeah, yes. okay. It is very unpleasant. What do you yeah. teach at the it, university? It checks out. Oh, I am assistant co-dean professor emeritus under study of sexual studies and courtship relations. Yeah, oh. You're really the under, you're understudying that? Uh, under and over and oh, inside okay. and outside. Right. Uh, which university is this? Oh, um, just the one that my tribe has set up for all of the world to learn about all of the courtship studies of other cultures. So it's not a... C- 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 Credited then. Where is this? I want this. Like oh, it's a, deep it in the woods. Like more of a sex club. <laughs> this is like a Which, Phoenix you know, University. Sex clubs are great. Yeah, yeah, that, that, Do you uh, get a certificate at the end or a full diploma? Uh, yes, it is waterproof and everything. Oh, full diploma. Yes. <laughs> waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> waterproof. Well, it must. Why are you here, Gordon? I would love to. Where are you supposed to be? You said not now. When are you supposed to be here? Master 17, do you know this goat? I do know this goat. You know this goat. Yes, Jolene. Jolene. Jolene? Jolene. I don't regret this, Dylan! (laughs) Did Dylan know? No. (laughs) (laughs) Jolene. Jolene. And she's the best. You might call her the dildog. Yeah. (laughs) The dilliest of dogs. Oh, uh, this episode is gonna be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and Master Seventeen is also confused. His beautiful tower of death and and doom and void um, has turned into something very unusual here mm-hmm. that he did not anticipate. And your presence is confusing. And Jolene being here. Okay, so why do you know the goat? In space and time, mm-hmm. you run into characters. Curious. Unusual. So, have you met Jolene in your other adventures in regards to other places you've been, or is this in I have not to met Jolene way? yet. Well, that's not true because she's right there. Mm, different timeline. And okay. this is not t- time. Or happening at all. Excellent. I, it's this happening. This makes very okay. little sense, but I am very interested for the origin. I am also <laughs> confused. So, so are we all up for that? Which? The sex party? Yeah, the orgy that happens after this. Oh, I, no! Yes. <laughs> I thought they happen after everything. Well, it's I know for sure. One event, one event and then yeah, an orgy excellent. after everything. that Like, you have lunch orgy, and well, then you go to tea orgy. Like It is a very classical theater society. Yes. Oh, I'm classy. Okay. All right. Uh, we do have a m- m- mystery uh, afoot of what have you. Master 17, do you think this is significant of something? Like that maybe you're trying to upset the fates to get us to convince you not to kill the, or actually execute the, uh, the goddess of love? That maybe if we succeed in that, then it's going to bring the end of all things? Or maybe the if, opposite? May, maybe if we fail in it, it Excuse brings the end me, of all things. Excuse me, did you say someone is going to execute the goddess of love? Potentially, oh. but uh, uh, this guy. We, but are, we are here to stop it. Yes. 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 I like this plan. Great. Mm-hmm. Then we can count on you for whatever it is we need to do to either help you or you help us. I am excellent with headbutts. Uh, so I rolled to see if I've ever actually heard of this. Supposed university, and I got a nat 20, so I've definitely partied there. You founded it. <laughs> <laughs> you a scholarship <laughs> named after yeah. you. Followers <laughs> of Agrippina are very welcome at the university. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you would uh, have been on an adventure or a travel and found yourself. It, it has an, an interesting establishment that can move and has um, other things that set up around. Once one person participates who's into it, sometimes they set up a, another college somewhere else. And um, you're at the one of the main centers, um, but it is still not very well known outside of their own communities. Listen, you can call it whatever you want. It sounds like a traveling sex c- 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 carnival and a traveling sex Carnival, a college is not. He's I mean, well, eh, when you argue. add the anthropological, <laughs> then yes. uh, you know what? You're right. They usually don't travel. 
Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. But yeah. I mean, I went to Bard. Okay, college, what you so teach? It was a bit of an orgy. It yeah. was a sex carnival, and yeah. then you travel after. Yeah. But your scholarship is excellent. Yes, thank you. And they ha. publish significant volumes, like the Enlightened Sex Manual, and volumes and volumes of published materials. Yes. <laughs> I get it. I, I'm just loving the fact that the Master Seventeen is. Uh, it's Pro Sex Carnival College. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and yeah, so wasn't out, out yeah. of out of character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think he's uh, as far as I played him. I don't think he's ever uh, done that. But I don't think he'd be anti it. <laughs> Onovan, on the other hand, um, the fuck is this? <laughs> does Master Seventeen fuck? What are you asking? What are you rolling? A couple thousand years ago. <laughs> and, she, and, she, and she presumed to roll with advantage. Which yeah. is, <laughs> which is, how, so. how do you think he knows the goat? <laughs> so no, not I know ready. this goat. You fuck. <laughs> he likes the watch. <laughs> at one of the university. Yeah. That's your 17, you fuck. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> I told you this episode was gonna yeah, be. He stupid. likes to party. Embarrassed, <laughs> a being who had descended. Very well done. Thank you. <laughs> Put that off the bucket list. Yeah, I don't think I, we've seen him that uncomfortable so far. <laughs> <laughs> just I have to go. <laughs> Did he actually leave the room? Yeah, he's gone. Oh my god! Did he walk through a wall? <laughs> <laughs> just absorbed into the wall. Wait. Okay, if that was that, is he afraid of the goat? Oh no, he's just embarrassed by my questions. I think he's- No, tremble before me! Okay, I don't want Is to- Is that the goat? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jolene, there's no need to be angry. We're all stuck in the same issue here. You don't know why you are here, neither do any of us. Too early! Okay. Right. Yeah, although- We, we would like to know what triggers your arrival that must have some uh, something to do with why you are here. Oh, yeah, like is it the sounding of four horns simultaneously or some crap like that? Uh, Eldritch horror, that's not their bag. It's more like a, a reptile comes out of the ocean sometimes. Somebody incantation. Yeah. Some stars speaking, alive. Speaking. Or someone goes into a cave that are not supposed to go into. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we already did that. I or they, the cup. Oh, shit. Or, yes. or they see colors that d- 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 don't exist, uh, that kind of thing. Octarine. It's going to pay attention soon. It's going to it. What's it? Who? The void! It's right? The void isn't necessarily an entity, it is an absence of all things. To but your understanding, dark, and not the crazy god. Like. But dark things live in it. So, what's coming? I mean, if you can herald that it's coming and there's going to be sanity breaking whatevers, I mean, sounds like you do know what. You're heralding, so why don't you just fucking tell us? Yeah. And then we can get this all sorted and on the road. Only the greater form knows. What is the name of the greater form, if it has any? Oh, this might be a bad path we're walking down. Well, if it's my floor, we may as well f- figure it out. It's not my floor. Uh, kill me. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 that's what I mean. It's a bad path. You have to kill it and you see the true form of the goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tells us, but it tells us. I've played just a, I don't need to have any goat. I'm good. Uh, speaking of eating, I'm, I'm going to Roll it, I should have! Oh, I said it before you said it. Minecraft eating. I'm not going to have to write my hit points back. Um, <laughs> Sam, was it a D8? Right. So it's three D8 plus yeah, three. That's a, uh, Wait, yeah. that's a nine. It is. Yeah, that's a nine. Yeah. So, and then add your initial score, which will be oh, yeah, in a purple stubble butt there. Stubble butt. Well, it's not, that's, that's new, but st- I like it. I'll double tap. Sorry, I read it too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw I saw the F and the T, and it looked uh, like two one, T's. Don't give Lauren ideas. <laughs> <laughs> stubble butt. <laughs> Initiative sixteen for me. Thirteen. Thirteen in a Are we healed up? Are we? Oh, no. that's Rested, why I snacked. Yeah, that's I snacked why up I the also... pole. Okay, we'll uh, eight. Bear snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Minecraft eating. 
Yeah. Frantically eating chicken. <laughs> Burp. Yeah. Uh, Onovan. Uh, natural t- t- 20. And Anthony. 16. And Alan? Net 20. Alan and Onovan. Okay. As you watch it storming around a little bit, uh, it's goat form. The hair that is on it uh, seems to be actually waving oddly in the air. It's more like the hairs are small individual tentacles. The nothingness of the void seems to be apparent in its eyes that that reflect back uh, your reflection of uh, you as a baby. Its maw starts to descend as it looks like it's going to stomp towards you. Restrain the god. Oh no. Uh, Allah, you will act first. Um, well, let's just see how this is gonna go. I'm gonna heft my shield and my long sword, get in uh, melee range to the goat. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna swing my long sword, see what happens. Roll to attack. Nat 17. Ayy. Ayy. Plus nine. Hits. Uh, sweet, so first attack, I'm gonna add uh, Divine Smite on that. Um, one and of those. Ooh. That's probably gonna. Uh, I don't remember what this adds. Uh, 2d8. 2d8. Hmm. Uh, and is this a fiend or undead? It is an aberration. Damn. It's always an aberration. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a thing you don't want to do. Yeah. It's a monstrosity. It's never a fee. Uh, <laughs> never. Always a monstrosity, never Four. a fee. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh 15. You're on deck. Yeah. 15? Yeah. Right okay. Not great, but... Uh, for the first attack. Okay. But it's uh, radiant, right? Yes. The smiting? It's radiant damage. It's more sight. Radiant because of the smiting! It takes full that full damage. Second attack. Uh, flirty 20. Hits! Cool. Not gonna use Divine Smite. Oh, and I didn't say what to do with the 17. I'm gonna add it one to my AC. Kay. Nice. You can check that on your own. Uh, because of the just blessing, another eight. Um, eight more damage. Okay, but if you want to go, like, nice dagger. Okay. Alla, you stay where you are? Yep. You have more movement, but you stay defending. In a provost. Wait, what, do I, what can I do with a bonus action? Thank you. What do I do? Mm-hmm. Uh, Bardic Inspiration 2. Um, Onovan. Thank you. So you get uh, it's just a d6. Hey, I'll take it. We're going to need that shit. For, for um, ability checks, saving attack rolls. Attack rolls? Saving throws? I don't. Uh, Add to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Oh, nice. Yeah. Does that count as that count for spell attacks? Uh, attack roll. Yeah, if it's a roll. Yeah, yeah if it's spell attack. But if it's a save, right. if yeah. you're making them save, then it has nothing to do with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, 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 yeah. Cool. And before you act, but following Alice's turn, it takes a legendary action. Of course it does. Mm-hmm. Against you. Against me. Yes, a oh, psychic there. lash. Ah. Mm. Uh, it reaches out psychically to you who tried to connect with it earlier. Know me. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And you got a d6 to add if you need it. It's and a high can, DC, so you can yeah, add that d6 after you roll, but before knowing the outcome. Cool. Uh. After I roll, but before knowing so if, the outcome. So if you roll a d20, oh, but but like, but but, be, but before I know, before if it was you hear if it is successful or not, yeah. 
wisdom saving throw, hey? Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> you could also be like, that's low enough, this is not gonna help, and save it. Nope, okay. <laughs> Uh, 14. Ooh. The DC is 21. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I think you should have saved that. <laughs> yeah, I I was hoping it would, yeah. You take 36 psychic damage. Oh, <laughs> shit. Whoa. 36. And you are connected to its mind where it just starts to dump information into you. We're not healed. No. I'm down. Okay. Oh, shit. <gasps> what does Onovan say as he goes down? Um, uh, I, um, Is it a teenager? Uh, uh, just like full, full like, okay. like, Benny G G G Gesserit, like seizure me meditation. <laughs> and I just oh. fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, it's a Janet! Oh, no. <laughs> Every death saving throw you make comes with information about the hungry hostility of the universe. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna learn so much before I die. <laughs> Hungry hostility. <laughs> the first piece that floods into you as it lashes out to you is about how to f spawn its true secondary form, which is a greater star spawn emissary. But it only happens if you reduce it to zero hit points. So should you ever encounter another one of these again, you will know that killing it actually spawns a Big. bigger, more terrible form of it. Yeah, it, it, it final th 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 fantasies. I just, Got it. I, I want to go on Z's. record yeah. because that was my strategy here. I said restrain it at the beginning <laughs> because I'm, I don't know what you just told him, yes. but that was my plan. Yes. So if people don't think I'm metagaming based on information, I should know. <laughs> yeah. I stated it earlier, oh, don't kill it, we don't want to go here. <laughs> Roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you see the image of the gory slurry that would happen when you defeat it, only to have a its second form. Oh, he has sleep. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck indeed. It's got high. Fuck indeed. It's got high, high wisdom, and I know that from having tried to read its mind. So it's we're gonna have a hard time with this anyway. Welcome to your turn. Like that. It's my my turn. I roll a death saving throw. Correct. Excellent. Should have saved that part of inspiration. Oh, no. No, that's fine, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, you're using the other die, good. No, it's the same. <laughs> oh, damn it. Stop using that one. I'm trapped <sighs> in like a, 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 a psionic death state. It's the psi die. Oh, that's the awful has it one. Has not working? No, it has not. It rolls fine. It's telling the story it's meant to tell. Uh, n 19. Oh. Are we? Okay, for once it actually sticks so out. <laughs> is this our first round of death saving throws? Are we, do we want to do these secret behind the board with you, or are we? Here in this space, we'll keep it open. Okay. But I think in the future, we can yeah. Yeah. make them secret. Yeah, yeah. Raise like the stakes, make it that. creepy. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is immune to being charmed or frightened, and it is resistant to acid, force, necrotic, and psychic damage. Jesus. We're not slashing. But only he knows that. Only he knows that, and it is your turn, Anthem. Oh, get up off of that thing. I make the goat dance. <laughs> Otto's irresistible dance. No save, it starts fucking dancing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 so, uh, 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 it will have its opportunity. <laughs> it will have its opportunity to save on its turn if it wants to use its action to do so. Uh, I'm gonna ramble and you're just gonna be like, those resistance, aren't you? Yes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it, still it, does, it still slays a little bit, though, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Before I burn a legendary resistance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe, you need to work it. Where's that? Um, whoops, sorry. And then. Well, that, to burn a legendary resistance, it's against a saving throw, and there is no saving throw. Oh, there though. is no save, so it has to start dancing so, for now. Oh, Sam, you would make a dance? <gasps> Hmm. Goat's got to dance. <gasps> it is only if it fails a saving throw to burn the legendary resistance. Yes! Uh, dance, go, uh, dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, he may be dancing, but he's not a friend, or she. Uh, they, they. They. Go. Uh, right. 
I mean, uh, don't kill it! Don't kill it! We have to restrain it. It, it, it said it would uh, uh, reveal it's a true form. Rose, can it be charmed or is it immune? It's immune to charmed. Is it a charm? Yeah, it's a charm. Shit. You know what though? I'm gonna have it dance. Oh, oops. Because it just likes to dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's still gonna make attack moves. Oh. <laughs> you think oh, it's working? Oh, it could still attack. Things. It's just you. If yeah. It's yeah. 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 Oh right. Uh, okay. 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 Creatures that can't be charmed are immune to the spell. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Shice. Yeah. Because it's probably got some sort of ramming. But ability. I wouldn't have known that. So. Oh no. Uh, but I will say, don't, don't kill it, don't kill it. Uh, uh, it will unlock a, a worse version of itself. It said, it said true form before. Uh, and I'm. So what do you do? We just try to not murder it. I cannot be, uh, subdue. You can attack with uh, subdual damage. Try to knock it out. Mm. Although this still reduces yeah, hit points. Shit. Uh, we need to get Onivin back. Um, put it to sleep. I can't cast Healing Word right now, can I? The sleeper has awoken. Oh, it's a bonus action. <laughs> it's a bonus action, but it's a first level spell or higher. Uh, but my auto is irresistible mm. dance. I technically not casting a spell. I'm using a charge from an item I have. So. DM's rule. What are you trying to do with this? Heal? Heal on a bit. Mm. I'm gonna. I think the story that happens here in the void space, this doesn't go off. Yeah, yeah, I think. So, so yeah, yeah, because I think it, it takes so much of your focus to figure out what's going on with the, it's the same as attempting to do the irresistible dance mm -hmm. that will not be able to do your second spell cast. Okay, okay. Sweet. Uh, and that, that then, I will say... But you uh, do take the time to give everybody that information. Yeah, I'm shouting all yeah, that we'll out. Give that and out. I'll say, uh, you got this! And Bardic Inspiration to you. So you now have an extra D8 okay. to use for an attack roll, an ability check, or a uh, saving throw. Okay. Oh. And you okay. Don't, don't have to use your next turn, you can save it. Okay. I'm rolling for nothing. I'm just nervous. <laughs> 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 this is why you don't fuck with Eldritch and... Unless you have the know-how, I say as I'm dead. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm sure you meant. <laughs> <laughs> Just weird sense of judgment all over. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yes. And, uh, <laughs> Anthem, do you want to stay where you are? Everyone's sort of um, in a clump here. I think it makes sense for me to, while I was saying the things in a panic, be backing up. So I'll back up until I bump into a wall. And outside, uh, you take a glance through the, one of the windows that would be here, and there's just the floating rocks that circle the tower and the void out beyond you. Can I call out one more thing? Yep. Yeah. Master 17, maybe a little help? Good shout. No problem. Uh, how far away is the goat? 10 feet from you, and Alla is between you and between Jolene. Between and the goat. You could shut you can out. you can step aside. Oh yeah, I can move around. first, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can totally. You got. Uh, you got I am going to jump over Alla to about ten feet away from the goat, but like clear of Alla using an ability called Mirthful Leaps. <laughs> <laughs> when I make a long or high jump, I can roll a d8 and add the result to the number of feet I cover. Okay. Sick. Five feet. Oh, yeah. How tall is Ella? Five, ten. There you go. Excellent. Uh, that means like, it works. She would duck. Yeah, yeah. And also, you're, oh, you're, that's, that's an addition to your jump. An addition to yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. So you want to jump over Ella and the goat, and you get to yeah. the side. Yeah. Okay. And that's movement, and then I can use action? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And a Is the goat still dancing? It, it, oh, well, sorry, you said it was. It, it, it's choosing to dance. Yes. It's choosing to dance. <laughs> Okay. It can stop anytime it wants to. It says. Uh, <laughs> I cast. Oh no, Reese. I can't stop. Uh, oh, darn. So he pulls out a small bottle again with the pump on it. And. What? He goes, Lubricato! And he hits. <laughs> and just grease comes spewing forth from the bottle. And he says, Don't worry, it is better than free. <laughs> uh. 
Grease says that uh, it covers the ground for 10 feet and whatever uh, is around must make a uh, dexterity saving throw or okay. fall prone. On their turn or right now? I think right now. Okay, so that would be the goat and Ella. Yeah, standing okay. in the area. Dex save and I'm very going. Uh, no, they okay. they make they a deck save. Yeah. They have to beat 15. Sorry, Ella, I was hoping you were clear. Nope. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 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 Worth it for the entertainment value. <laughs> oh. I forgot about oranges. Um, <laughs> Scimitar warning, right? Ella tips. See the... Uh, yeah, Anavin's also over, is The goat tips. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Anavin is down for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless he's on some like suspended in the air shit, in which case uh, that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a scimitar of warning, which means that none of us can be surprised. Mm. So I would have definitely been aware of this coming. So can I have advantage on my dexterity thing? Because I'd be trying to get out of the way before it happens. I'll give it to you also with mm. with uh, not giving you your spell on a. I mean, uh, Anthem has been giving you a shout, so you would have been turning back. The two of you are connected. Yeah, yeah, roll. Yeah, I mean, the scimitar of warning doesn't require any of that. Yeah, yeah, like, I just, just can't in the be moment, surprised. Yeah. But, uh, cool. Let's try this again. <laughs> exactly the same. Ah, no! <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're fine. Well, I tried. Story <laughs> wants this to happen. Yeah, fair enough. Safety nice. spooge. I think that only means like a surprise, of like a yeah, animal. it's yeah, 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 like like the the condition of surprise, but shenanigans yeah. keep them coming. Mm. Surprise is surprise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We Most of your abilities surprised. are very surprising. <laughs> That's fair. <pretty surprising. laughs> it doesn't specifically say. Somehow, I feel like Ella isn't that surprised. Just rolling in another uh, level of. That's true. Mm. Grease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sad. I like being surprised. I also think. <laughs> Uh, you probably know birthday. a little bit about this because you've you've been to their their yeah. college. Yeah. Like, I've slipped in lube before. <laughs> <laughs> Who has but, it? You know. I'm an or various <laughs> other fluids. Um, <laughs> yeah, you choose to fail the save. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Whoops. Whoopsie Daisy! Oh, I'm on oh. the ground. Yeah, so that, was, that was a ten. <laughs> Try to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What did I say? Off the chain this episode. <laughs> okay, uh, and on its turn. Is it still dancing on the ground? No, as it, it, slip, as it, as it slips and falls, it mm -hmm. looks up towards you. Does it look like a fainting goat? <laughs> Like, like, <laughs> like, just like real rigid. Just yeah, <laughs> but but its head uh, turns the wrong way to look at you <laughs> as as it shifts backwards and around, and it looks over at you. Well, I should I should be surprised right now, <laughs> but I'm magically not. <laughs> I'm just constantly bemused. <laughs> Do you consider him part of the party yet? Oh yeah, I bonded immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, orgy did you say? Yeah, it was just like, hello. <laughs> I would like to write down exactly where you are in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your snap. <laughs> what you got? What you saying? <laughs> okay, so before Mogax, it's, it's Jolene's turn. Okay. So, looking Jolene. up at you. It does a psychic orb attack. So. That does sound bad. Ooh. I you're want that. Get, you're about to get orbed in the face. I want that. Me? I want one. I think. It is a, only a 16 against your armor class. It meets it, beats it. That's this year. Uh, my armor class is 16. <gasps> oh, after a terrible roll. No. Good things happen for me. You take 18 points of psychic damage. <laughs> Ouch! Mm hmm. So you Ouch, my brain! Yeah. Flips its head and then, and then hit damage. Across its back and over to look at you, yeah. and it just <laughs> blasts you. And you can just close this. With a psychic attack. <laughs> you yep. got baseline. You can just close this up here, yeah. and then that's out of your viewpoint. I'm amazing. There you go. So you're down to 17. A good number. Not right now, but yeah. it's a right good now. number. Yeah, yeah. In general. It flips its head around after attacking you, and it sees Mog. And it makes another attack. No! 
I was nice to you. You're the greatest of all time. That one. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks at me and I'm like, mm. You guilted it successfully. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. You're holding this corkscrew. Yeah. Mm. It. Fisting my corkscrew. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so it it looks at you, and then instead it blasts past you at Anthem. <laughs> I hate this stupid tower. <laughs> uh, 16 against your AC. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, it's this big bed targeting all our softest people. Yeah. Oh, you'll also take 18 points of psychic damage. Get out of it! Sorry, 16? Totally blaming on it. Oh, sorry, 18 points of psychic damage. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> Barf. Barf. Okay. Uh, and it will use oh. its motion, or its movement to stand up. Damn it. Mm. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it, it, as it's kind of slippery in there, it's continuing to, to do its like dance moves, but now it's just staying in one place. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> Okay. Sometimes it has four legs, sometimes it's eight, and you're like, I don't like that. Don't yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes it's one. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, way worse. <laughs> all of its fur is dancing. Yeah. Its fur all is all tentacles, too, so it can like move in like mm-hmm. like a school of fish. Oh, yuck. I like a moon slide. Yeah. One foot. I don't like that. Its butt becomes its head. <laughs> <laughs> Mog, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, I uh, give my corkscrew a little, and I say, send you a save us. Because uh, I'm gonna need some real help on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out of my adventurer's pack a length of rope. Oh, okay. And I am going to uh, attempt to try to get the, a loop around one of the horns, Mm -hmm. and then slide underneath the legs if I can to try to like at least get one loop under it to pull it down. Interesting. What do you like to roll? That's a great question. Um, Acrobatics? Did did you? I know it's difficult terrain, but you know, maybe that'll help me slide it. Go anywhere? It didn't move. Mm -hmm. Need to save from the grease again. Nat 20. Bah! Yuck. With the one foot? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so basically I want to like, if I can demonstrate, uh, so I want to like loop it around one of his horns and then slide underneath his legs, like underneath, and then take him down so that he goes Bleh! Like you would, if, like a, you know when you have an animal and you have to like grab his legs underneath to pull it sideways to lock it down? No, just me? I mean, um, I'm a city boy. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you worked in a vet clinic. We both worked in vet clinics before, right? You, you, you like take this leg, if his legs are here, you pull it under. Yeah, yeah, he gets okay. it. Grab scruff of the neck, grab back legs, stretch. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Matt, did you get your x ray? Just all the, all grab the one thing, flip you know, it under the other yeah. thing, make it have, go. Have, like this. have you ever watched but how a sure. judge holds a cat at a cat show? That it's like, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know they they can't look. bite you from behind the neck like that. Yeah. 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 When they're sort of, they just can't do much. Yeah. However, I have done that with a cat that could turn its head all the way around <laughs> and just like. <laughs> its name was Josie. Town <laughs> was say, this is an eldritch word. Yeah. Yeah. You never know what it might bite you from. Yeah. It's true. Um, okay, so I would. Maybe I will, yeah. Like acrobatics, animal handling? What do you want to do? Let's do something, because you're going to use your rope first. Yeah. So you need to do something dex based, I think, to. Manage this lasso action. Jerks burst. So like the acrobatics or sleight of hand. I'm gonna like sleight of the hand. For, yeah. For, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna start with sleight of hand. Ba, ba, ba. I really wish I had a bardic inspiration. Oh. It's a seven. Okay, so you're gonna miss the goat. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you probably get Alice's foot instead. Uh, okay, so. I gotta ask you if you would allow me to do this. So I have never taken this. Uh, I'm gonna use my action surge. Love it. To get an additional action. Okay. To try this again. Okay. Uh, So it's going towards Ala, but instead you pull it back in. Yeah. And you go again. Come on, you bastard. 
No, I want this die. Oh, Come on, you bastard. Oh, no, 14. Oh, I saw the O2 and I was like. I got excited for a second. Okay, yeah. it's a 14. Okay, uh, so you're not able to really quite mm -hmm. connect. You do hit it with the limp rope. The limp rope, I, yeah. I like, I, mm -hmm. onto the face? Yeah. A little smack? Yeah. Yeah, you think about that. No, it's something I'm not used to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rather ineffective flaccid slap. Thank yes. you. Yes. Oh, what will you do next? Shit. Um, okay, well, that didn't work, so I'm just gonna... Um, Back up and uh, get in front of uh, Fallen Onovan. Okay. Oh no, no! Uh, yeah, so I'll just hopefully take a hit if he comes charging. Okay. Still having my rope in my hand because I'm gonna just keep trying this <laughs> forever and ever. You're tenacious. Yeah. You are the mountain. Mm -hmm. The mountain that could stand against an ocean. But the ocean is a is a sea of chaos <laughs> and madness. Sam, you uh, help? Call. Back at the top of the order. Ow. Um. Well, I'm going to attack, but uh, I'm more aiming to like hamstring it to try and disable it. Um, do you want me to do anything special for that? specifically trying to do something. No, I think you're close enough here. Like, okay. you are All right. greased up on the floor next to the goat. <laughs> Nat 17 for the first attack. Hey. Hey. Uh, I'll give you half your movement to stand, right? You want to, and then you're taking a yeah. swipe downwards. Okay. Um, just Jason Statham and stay on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use that to Stay keep that extra one to my DC for the next round. Um, and that is just... Or things are hot and Radiant damage. Okay. No, sorry, that is 13 slashing damage because I did not cast by okay. its might. Um, and then second attack. 21. Hits. Okay, so that's 12 slashing damage. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Word at second level on it. Oh, nice. Oh, thank Pretty you. Be well. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so. Are you writing your last will and testament? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You would not believe what happened to me today. <laughs> this isn't showing me the details before. You said Luckily, yep. we're gonna come back and figure out your hit points and what's happening and where we're at. Or if we take a short break, everybody! Welcome back to Combat With Us! We'll see you in a few minutes! Right, right. I'll be alive for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for calling QuestKeep. What question can I help you with today? What does it take to be a hero? Some would say bravery. Some might say confidence. Others might say a brutal, unprovoked attack by a radioactive animal. But what if there was a better way? You get behind the scenes exclusive for- Yeah, and if you're like me and you don't like people, there's um, digital stuff. No, I'm not really on the phone, I'm just pretending. For the low monthly cost of one banana and a Blu-ray copy of Rambo First Blood Part 2, you could not only be a founding member for the QuestKeep channel, but also use it to unlock incredible benefits, including QuestKeep exclusive updates, early access to content, Discord community access with a VIP badge, discount on merchandise, lifetime founding heroes credit. Yes, all of that for the low monthly cost of a Blu-ray copy of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom but with no banana, because that Blu-ray is priced just a little bit higher. Because we're such firm believers in democracy, we do have exclusive voting mm. power. Side chowder. Two side chowders. Join the Heroes Haven tier on QuestKeep's Patreon and become our hero today. Mom, stop calling me at work. In some tales, the adventure begins in a tavern. 
Not this time. In most tales, the heroes triumph over evil. Not this time. In all tales of my curse, I am bound forever to the Shadow Realm. Not this time. Are you ready? I mean, I don't know. Yes, <laughs> I'm scared. Alice, sense I... of healing your way. Ottoman, you're yes. like, <gasps> Quit the tatarac. What? 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 Uh, <laughs> and I uh, stand up immediately. As you come to your feet. On your turn. Is Alice staying next to the goat? Oh, are you still in the grease? Maybe. Uh, I think you have to make another deck save. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 14? Uh, does that save? What's your... I don't. I think it was 15, wasn't it? I think so. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, fine. Oh, good! Uh, <laughs> go back to the spell, the grease spell? Yeah. Um, oh, 15 yeah. decks, yeah. Yeah, 15. Yeah. There you go. Mm. Uh, it's my turn. Okay. Um, I. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, I. Um, uh, and I. Uh, first thing I would like to do, I spend my b bonus action to convert uh, all of my sorcery points into a uh, third. S single third level spell slot. Oh, okay. Uh, so I have one of those. Uh, and then I would like to use that uh, third level spell slot. And if that is. No, yes, because Does it's, it it's a, a, a bonus action and it's that? not a spell or spell effect. So it's it's not a cantrip. So that's fine. Um, and I. Uh, I use my action. To, I use my all of my movement to stand up, or half, half. Uh, so I step as uh, far back as I can, and I. Um, Do you want to be on the other side of Anthem? Sure. Yeah. Um, so Mog might take the blast instead of you. Uh, I'm down for that. It's not. It's not, not a line of. It's it's not a line of sight blast. So, oh well, it is an attack. Um, as you get next to me, I'm just gonna go, good to see you back, put it to sleep. Uh, Whether you listen or not. I, I, hold on. You're like, I don't, I wanna do my thing. <laughs> it, uh. What did you say its magical resistances were? Acid, force, necrotic, psychic. Great. Uh, an immunity, you said charm. Charmed. But he knows that, we don't. Isn't sleep charm? Sorry, charm and what? How tall is this room? Great. Um, I line up where uh, the g g g goat is, uh, and then I just point up and uh, my eyes go b b b black, tar tears c c come, come out of it. My mouth uh, opens into uh, an endless black void for a split s second, <gasps> and I cast uh, Maw of the Dark Hunger. Uh, uh, just overhead where the 20-foot sphere scoops the goat, but n none of my allies. Uh, that is a spell. Oh no, it is a uh, 
It's a deck save. Uh, the goat needs mm. to make a deck save here. It chooses to succeed. Oh. Great. Ouch. Oh. Bah. I mean, I could roll, but. Yeah, please roll, mean. please roll. Oh, make it fun for me. It knows you. And as you go to cast this, uh, it enjoys it. Great. So it burned another resistance. Yeah, um, great, okay. Does anything happen if this doesn't go off? Uh, no, it goes off. So there still is this moment in the room. Yeah. And it it's it's still there and it'll last for, uh, it'll last for a m m m minute as I continue to concentrate on it. And it, you concentrate on it and it looks at you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how's that going to affect people who melee? Um, I I say uh, d d don't go in this fear. <laughs> what happens if I do? Uh, you take a two d six cold. As it looks out across to you. It uses the legendary action again. Oh, sorry. Grease only lasts for one minute. Yeah, one minute yeah. is yeah. ten turns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ten yeah. Rounds. Right. Each time round slow. Is six seconds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Each round represents six seconds. Uh, <laughs> it uses a legendary action to teleport right to you. Right up into your face. Ah, hi, this, this, this. Just nose to as far up as it reaches on you, which looks like somewhere into your chest. But its eyes travel up its head, so it's looking at you. Oh! Ugh. Does it have to do anything if it leaves the area of the spell? Uh, no, it has to do something if it starts its turn in the area. And it teleported, right? So nobody has a, a re reaction to this. Um, well, the only reaction thing that would apply is like, your stuff on someone else's turn. Yeah, yeah. So, if it, if it. And I'm not close. Yeah, no, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it makes a lashing attack. It's also a lashing attack. Right. Which is a 17 against your armor class. Against my armor class? Yeah, that's a hit. You take 16 points of piercing damage. Oh, I'm down again. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, shit. Holy shit. Well, at least your death saves reset. <laughs> yeah. You're just be on, gonna be on your back a lot this this round. Yeah. <laughs> I said I wouldn't take part in the orgy. <laughs> the orgy's I'm gonna get back a lot of it, friends. <laughs> and even if I did, I'm not a bomb. I believe it is time to just to start discussing about this. <laughs> Put a little contract here. Yeah. <laughs> Got a safe word? Very important. You learn oh. that a lesser star spawn emissary usually comes to infiltrate a world. They take the forms of other things, animals like goats or people maybe, to come ahead of something else more terrible. And you gain some information about a greater star spawn emissary, a larger form, and it transports some information to you through this bond of the nothingness and the death and the void. You learn a little bit about it. Okay. You'll roll an advantage if you ever meet or see one. Okay, cool. I'll give you something extra for yourself from that thing about how they, they'll arrive to infiltrate as a, an emissary they look for institutions of order and then work to disrupt them. Hmm. <gasps> it's right up in your business. Mm. 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 I mean, I'm, I'm unconscious, so here we go. It's fine. <laughs> As we move to Anthem. Okay, I see Onivan go down and I will... You said you're not even supposed to be here. Go back to where you came from. 
and I'm going to just swing at it uh, with. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to stab it in the back of the neck with uh, my dagger. Are you sure that's its neck? It's <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm aiming for one of the eyes. You. Uh, that is a 24. Hit. Nice. Squelchy. Uh, yeah. That doesn't do much damage, but that's okay. That's okay. Give him a little poke in the eye. Yep. Uh, so that's four damage. Uh, it is a plus one dagger, so. <laughs> Look at world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, Russ. <laughs> so shady. <laughs> I'm a bard! <laughs> College of Swords? Yeah. <laughs> but I just, uh, I got a College scimitar of... of warning and a plus one dagger that hits harder. College of fucking. Look, we haven't finished shopping. I didn't min max, I made a narrative character, okay? <laughs> it's going great. <laughs> You said watching your friend die. Yeah. Well, <laughs> speaking of which, I'm uh, I'm going to say, uh, oh, what's good? Uh, uh, feel the love, and I'm going to cast healing word, and I need to workshop the shit out of that. Uh. <laughs> Do you feel the love tonight? I'm unconscious and dying. That's not the song I was going for. Uh, healing word. <laughs> I'm only casting it at first level to not burn, because you might go down again. But you won't keep saving for death saves. Uh, that is seven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Sorry, you. It just occurred to me to be like, wake you up before you go go. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's how. Good. That's how. <laughs> the paladin. Look at the bar college. <laughs> <laughs> and sex university. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I audited some classes. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a day. Yeah. Course or two. It's not. Listen, doesn't count. There's a oh, wing named after you at the school. It wasn't an audit, okay? <laughs> what? What's that? There's a wing named after Audit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a maneuver for sure. Yeah. Um, I was gonna That's say. That's what it's called. Blue wing. But I wanted it to be something about love. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the Ala mode. Thank you for bringing points. me. Thank you for yeah. bringing me back. Yes. Uh, and then that's me. We're a mess. We're here. <laughs> We're doing fine. Yeah. I'm, not gonna, I'm, I'm within, I'm not gonna move because that'll opportunity attack. I'll just stand here, face the goat. I like it. Uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> David versus the girl goat. Goat, goat life! <laughs> Jolene. Womp womp. Jolene makes a psychic orb as a legendary action. Uh. A psychic orb attack against you. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, 26 to hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you take 18 points of psychic damage. <laughs> Fuck! It's down! <laughs> I'm down. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. <sighs> do you outdid yourself do today, to Roz. Roz. <laughs> Get him up. Get him up. <laughs> so it's a slippery slow. slope. There's so less and less uh, things. My turn? No. Okay. In a promise. Okay. What you got? If I use this, is that one action? Uh, it is a. Yeah, so that's um. Yeah. It would be, be, be like that's more like if you wanted to know something about something. Okay. She might make you roll that. Okay. And then you would roll that to yeah. find that. Thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, I, I would like to do the thing. But first, I'm gonna cast cure wounds. Mm-hmm. Um, who's worse? Uh, that's a range of that is touch, so you have to, yeah. whoever you can. Oh yeah, can I reach anyone? Yeah, you can get over to Anthem. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, he pulls out yet another bottle and uncorks it and slathers his hands in what's inside and goes, I will help you, my friend. And he's gonna cast Cure Wounds and he's just gonna give him a massage. Is it heat sensitive? Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like warm. It's a little bit icy. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's he's got a proper two. It's like Tiger they Bomb, go, mm, but sexy. But he goes, I promise this is a massager. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, a little lower. Uh, so <laughs> it's one lower. D8 plus five. Lower. lower. <laughs> two, two low. Hey. Two low. <laughs> two plus five, so seven. Lower. Seven. That's a seven. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, as my bonus action uh, is. Is a star spawn considered a deity? 
Not really. Not really. Okay, well then, fuck trying to know things. <laughs> <laughs> you can still try to, like, interact with it in the way you might try. Uh, that's cool. I'm gonna, okay. just going to try and push past this. Uh, okay. I am going to use an ability called Reveler, which means I have proficiency in performance and persuasion. And he's going to reach into his bag, and he pulls out a small instrument, and it's like a tiny keyboard. It's, it's, it's an organ. But to you, it sounds like greasy sex funk. And he's going to try to convince the goat through the dulcet tones of music that to leave this plane and wait until it's time. All right. Or fall asleep, whichever one happens first. <laughs> or get into the mood. Yeah. Use that pole. And jo Jolene? <laughs> Use the pole. <laughs> Jolene hears the music. Play. So you can, you, are you rolling an advantage on uh, your Yeah, roll persuasion. Oh, right, persuasion. Is that a one? Like yeah, just you, your yeah. advantage, oh, five. Right? I got plus yeah, four, so five. Yeah. yeah. Great. Did you say but, but it? But you did roll in that one. Yeah. And oh. Do you, oh, so that's Did bad. you say he has advantage? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, so then roll again. Roll again. Oh, oh yes. Use yeah. these. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do not, yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that no, don't dumb do that. shit. No. That's a 12. Better. Plus four? Four. four. Yeah. yeah, 16. Okay. And you also have that D8 of Bardic Inspiration. If you want to I will use that. D8 yeah. To it. Yeah. I can I just roll it. Yeah. And add it. Eight. Oh, sweet. Boof. Plus eight. <laughs> 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 oh, <and a> four. <laughs> you love this massage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that music yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. You're so beautiful. He's playing the organ and massaging with his feet. The spell. <laughs> <laughs> so uncomfortable boofed, with boofed. your noises. <laughs> Oh, and apropos. Oh. <laughs> apropos of something. Okay. <laughs> uh, you watch uh, Jolene standing over top of you, but the head just spins around the whole way to, to hear the sound that you're making. And you watch slowly as it steps back. And then... Dancing. Dancing. <laughs> dancing. The only Star Spawn emissary that likes to, to dance. <laughs> likes movement of, you know, body I mean, movement. Bowie would say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it looks out across dance. the group of you. <laughs> Why are we here? Because of that asshole, 17. Get him! He's not in the room. I <laughs> <Nice> point. <laughs> in says, yeah. I would say we are here for love. <laughs> Technically, it's true. It's tr oh, oh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not unconscious, right? I'm back at. Seven HP. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are uh, conscious, but yeah. you are. Then, then, then I do afford the opportunity. <laughs> to be uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you can stand up as well. Okay. Yeah. We are we are here for love to save the goddess of love. Why you are here? I do not know. So fuck off. Or fuck on. Fuck on. I want to reach heights. Oh, I will bring you to some heights. Go on. Mm -hmm. There's some pretty big mountains out there. Yes. Master 17 is You man. are a goat. You are excellent for yeah, it's heights. It's not a goat. What heights? What is it? Does this go... This seems... Are we out of combat now? Yes, we're out of combat. Okay. Sorry. Does this... Okay, sorry. No, go ahead. Go. Oh. No, go. Is this goat... The, the visage of this goat... I'm seeing it from the back. Does it... Does it have uh, genitals that hang down? Or are they kind of up? All you see are the tentacle waving hairs. Okay, never mind. If anything, they float above, which is very oh, weird. Yeah, it's awful. It's like a helium balloon. Just in, like a, in like orbit a around. <laughs> I was just going to try to loop them with the rope and get his balls in a box. <laughs> Guild that. Yeah. It's like, that's enough. The head just turns Guild all the way around. Yeah. 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 What does an eldritch prairie oyster taste like? Like the void. <laughs> Oddly enough, caramel. <laughs> oh, 
as, as it as it traipses into the middle of the room and it, mm-hmm. it gets very close to each of you along the way. Ah. Uh, Hi. Seventeen. Put out a beacon. For what? For me to go home. A beacon. I got. I got a rope. Get up high. Mount me. No. 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 Um, I'm just gonna like, can I, I just hop onto his back? I don't think he means that. You can, because we're gonna play our next mini game! Yeah. <laughs> this is go simulator. I just gonna not be go simulator. simulator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is a different game <laughs> where there goats. is a goat in the middle of the of, a, of an area, and then you mount your friends. So this is a game you can Mount your friends? friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and so. Roz. No, please keep, I'm sorry, keep going, keep going. It's just, I can't. We were all I just, can't. we caught up, we keep caught up, it's okay. All the games. I just needed a second to catch up. You're swinging packages everywhere. A hard man is good to climb, is the tagline for this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gotta agree with that. Too impressive check. <laughs> Helicopter <dick. laughs> what's, what you, So what you'll see in front of you is the... <laughs> Jolene, the eldritch goat star spawn emissary, has an orb that it has been attacking with, that has been a part of it, through it, opens its mouth and you see this orb, and it needs you to elevate this orb as high up as possible for it to put out a beacon to leave here, but also participate in this experience for some reason that it doesn't understand either. In order to do this, you each watch Around it, a little f- humanoid form takes place that you can control. <laughs> and it is uh, approximately, looks like Jerry, <gasps> the dwarf dancer. Jerry. But he's only wearing Budgie Smuggler. And Say that word again. <laughs> like, <laughs> A budgie, budgie, budgie smuggler? Well, yeah, what do you guys call them? Not Spiros. that. Spiros? <laughs> a, a, a banana hammock? A, 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 banana hammock? A, 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 a banana hammock, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, we're both tropical. <laughs> we say banana hammock. Yeah. 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 Call, call it a plantain popper? <laughs> <laughs> budgie smugglers oh, like budgie smugglers. Australian or New Zealand. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, but like, wow. banana hammock's great, but once you hear budgie smuggler. Like, like, that's that's yeah, pretty yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's like moose knuckle and camel face. I just, okay, so there's a Jerry and day. a budgie <laughs> smuggler. smuggler. Speedo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Speedo. Uh, and, but it hangs very long and low. Uh, and and yeah, the yeah. physics of these little forms as they move are very all over the place. And everything seems to shake and move every time it moves. And you can control it with your body. So as you stand around, you can do small actions and it will make bigger ones as it needs to. They all need to climb the goat and get this orb as high as possible. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Master 7 Bikini Dwarf, Dwarf Circus. Circus. Okay. Fun. Okay. Sure. I. Yeah. Don't. All right. How does the Eldritch Goat know Jerry? You know Jerry. I think he's projecting it from our own. You know Jerry? No, we know Jerry. No. Goat. Jolene! Jolene, you know Jerry? I do now, I know your nose. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not exactly a wordsmith, is he? It, they, them. Jolene. Eldritch. Jolene. It, mm-hmm. Jolene. Uh, so we can all control Jerry? We all have our own Jerry. You all have your own Jerry's. Jerry, hop on up there. Okay, so the way this will work for this skill challenge, you will roll a d20, and then you will use a dexterity-based skill. Mm-hmm. So we'll determine how how high you can get up, and then you roll a d4 to determine which of your limbs attaches to the goat and or the other person ahead of you. <laughs> what are these Jerry's made of again? <clears throat> Void. Uh, can we use athletics? AKA. Yeah, strength or dexterity, I'll give you either of those. If they're so, made of void, doesn't that mean they're made of Master 17? 
No, Master Seventeen isn't the void. He just manifested this place out of the void using his mind. The goat is uh, 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 using the, that same void energy to manifest these things for its own pur- yeah, mm-hmm. purposes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, so are we all? I mean. Cosmic, Jump right cosmic, in. cosmic, yeah. clearly, yeah. obviously. <laughs> Going one at a time, or we all just one at a time. Didn't teach it that at sex college, huh? No. <laughs> all right. Well, I think not the amount your friends were used to. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with you controlling your uh, uh, mini Jerry. Yep. Okay. Uh, and yes, I. Um, and it's just like. And starts to, yep. And starts to uh, mount Jolene. Roll your d20 for your skill check. And then which skill would you like to use? Dex, please. So a dex based thing, so you can use any of the things from that category. Uh, uh, acrobatics is, is fine. Okay. Uh, natural 17 plus two. <laughs> Roll a d4. <laughs> Four? Okay, so this Jerry tumbles over towards the goat and it does uh, an amazing cartwheel. Somehow, with the physics as it, it just like flops through the air and everything else about it moves and then its foot connects and its right foot sticks onto Jolene and it pushes itself up into the air and starts going like this and reaching quite high. This is a very strange. I hope everyone hates this as much as I do. Well, I am enjoying myself immensely. Like, yeah, it's very strange. That's what I thought, and I. Mm-hmm. So you have to hold that shape a little bit as yep. you you hang on to it. And on your roll, you have a little man you can control. Okay. So you roll your d20. Uh, and I'm using dexterity or any of or strength if it's higher. Yeah. yeah. Is it any of the dexterity? Dexterity or strength. Or strength. So your, yeah. your acrobatics is quite good. Yeah. And, my and you can repeat. Sleight of hand yeah, is quite Usually good. We were doing non repeat Oh, yeah. You, you could use sleight of hand. Okay, so okay. I'm trying to figure plus out how six. sleight of hand is yeah, going to justify a narrative. That's a nine. Yeah. It's a nine. Nine plus six, 15. 15. Okay. okay. And then roll a d4. Uh, four. One. Amazing. So your little Jerry tumbles over towards the goat and then it manages a backflip as it flips over top and then it tumbles up your Jerry and manages to connect a hand and push itself upwards. <laughs> so now I have to maintain this position. Now you have to hold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as you elevate up the tower. Spin the okay, wheel. <laughs> right foot red. Yes. Uh, okay, so <laughs> only strength or dex. Are we allowed to reuse the ones or no? You can reuse, yes. Okay, because I'm like, there's not that many strength or dex. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use athletics to uh, get my little Jerry to like run and like uh, launch himself off the butt of the goat. Okay. And like up over them. 16. Great, now roll a d4. Which limb does it connect with? Four. Okay, so it's another one of the feet. Mm-hmm. So in this case, it does launch himself up over the goat. Mm-hmm. And when it does that that kind of like maneuver, like you're gonna be doing a mounting a horse, yeah. and you push up, but then it actually like tumbles, smashes into both of yours, and then manages to get over top of them, mm-hmm. connecting with a foot to you, and then reach up even higher. Oh, you smashed <gasps> my jetty, but it's Ooh, Fun. fun. I will never have to. Okay, I'm gonna get mine going with a bit of uh, steam. Uh, and then I'm gonna try to do something slick and like grab a hand and propel myself up. So I'm gonna mm. slide a hand. Okay. Ooh, 14, two. Okay, so this is the other hand. This time it manages to get up and it's almost equal level with yours. Mm-hmm. So two of you are floating near the top now. Uh, man, Jerry was way more coordinated than this. I mean, oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, Jerry. I know. Oh. Ow, his biceps. Mm. Uh, his legs, his thighs. Oh, yeah, so thin. Uh, yeah. Oh, so oh. Jerry's a snack. Yeah. He's, oh, yeah. He's, oh, he's, oh, he I a, didn't realize. He's a taste. Yeah, this snack. is weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, 
So Al is going to uh, again get it to go over and use um, athletics to try and give it a really good boost to okay. cartwheel over. So she's going, but like the whole time she can't help but just be following it. Uh, so he's doing this boost, and the the like uh, Jerry is also just like randomly looking around. <laughs> it, it, it. Distracted. Yep. Yep. Um, and so it was D twenty and D four. Yep. And we're gonna be starting to do this really fast, so we're gonna go around faster and faster. <laughs> so the D twenty plus athletics. Yes. Or, okay. Cool. Uh, Sixteen. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I get it. Mm. <laughs> what what number is me? Sucks. I hard. hate all numbers. I'm good at math. <laughs> <laughs> One. Okay, this is the right hand. So yours tumbles upwards again. Getting up up here, the three of you are in just like a clump at the top as you support a base. Now we're gonna fly around here. So Jerry pile. Jerry pile. D twenty. Natural seventeen again. D four. Two. Another hand, clamber stuff. You managed to get on top of these ones. D20. Three, nine. Nine? And four. Yours tumbles <laughs> to the ground. Ow. One foot still stuck onto Jolene. Oh no, Jerry's not good at circus. Oh no. Oh, uh. Try not to flip okay. up when you land, Acrobatics, so that's oh. 11 and one. Okay, so you you fall back, just your little Jerry falls down. It's still on top of the goat. It's kind of in, in line with yours, which is tumbling off of the goat. Your pile starts to collapse down again. Uh, so you're losing the ability to get high enough. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, is, who's still close to me? Alice. Alice. So I'm Alice gonna, Jerry. Uh, and starting to slip, but hasn't fallen in entirely. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to try to get it to grab and propel both Myself and uh, Lauren, 26 and three. Amazing, so with one foot, you clap on and then propel both of you up higher so you're now above Alla. Yeah. D20 and a D4. Come on, Tim. Nat 20. Woo nice. Excellent mounting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm so thinking, I'm gonna grab, who's below me now? You? I have a couple Jerry's. No, I've only got the one at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wrote on this. On events. Oh, on a I grab on a and just like swing them up and around. Um, yeah, and a four. And connected with a, a foot to on a On a yours is the highest. Roll a d20. Okay. 10. Uh, plus my uh, acrobatics, which is two, so 12. And four. You're all feet all the time. I guess so. <laughs> Foot climbing. I'm not. <laughs> sure, Quentin. Yeah. I mean, five. We know on events is so. Uh, <laughs> five, like plus shoot. Six. That's uh, fourteen and four. Because you come all the way back down to the bottom and you've fallen <laughs> next to your little Jerry is next to Jolene Oof. and it looks at you and it unfurls its tongue very long and passes the orb out to your Jerry, and then it says, "Climb." Climb! Go, little man, go. <laughs> so he'll start his climb, but he's at the base still. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use um, acrobatics again to just whoop, 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 and scramble up to the top. Uh, so that's a 14. Flips uh, up, with connects with the foot. Okay. 17-4. Uh, uh, Another foot. All right. You grow the tower. Um, <laughs> uh, 14 and four. Okay, so you start to peel out and the tower starts to squish out to the side as you start to pull away a little bit, but you stay connected to the top. D20. Hanging on by a foot. 14, so 16 and three. Oh, no. Another foot and you climb. Your Jerry needs to race up to the top. Propo, you got this. You have a bardic inspiration you can use. Do I? I thought I used I just gave you one. Oh, thank you. That's a 10, <laughs> uh, 16. Should I use the bardic inspiration right you now? You just did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. and one. <laughs> 17. It's a good number. 17. And one, again. So one hand carries the orb, the other hand, as the Jerry comes 
<laughs> Chasing up all the other little sounds. fairies. Excellent <laughs> uh, Racing up behind, uh, using a sleight of hand to just find like <laughs> perfect little handholds in every bu- in all their hand bodies. So and that all would their, what? And all, yeah. and all their little I, I body parts. I heard where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're all their butts. Uh, little sloth claw to get up on in there. Uh, so that would be an eighteen. What? Mog be mog. Four. So, yep. It's bog sex boost. The sloth claw. <laughs> Real slow, but it'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, maybe we're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Getting up and then they're climbing up. What's your backstory? You hear it there, I botched. <gasps> okay. Uh, are you are you at the base? Holding so left? No, I'm I'm like uh You're really on a mid tower now. Uh, I mean I rolled really good three times, mm-hmm. so. Well. Okay, so the tower is becoming unstable. Oh no! Oh, no. Everything starts to I shake. Hate oh, no. I hate this, I hate this, I always have. Shot. I'll hold you up by your asshole, don't worry. <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, as long as, well, we're gonna see what happens, whether or not Talk this, about spicy fingers. <laughs> whether this feels- I will puppet you. I have to. <laughs> right up in there. I have no strings to hold me. No, like... <laughs> you, did did you did this. You did this. You purposefully orchestrated sloth hook. Well. <laughs> she did paint the picture, but she brought the canvas. Yeah. <laughs> Not 20 and another four. Nice. Yay. All right. So he starts slipping. I just grab and Ooh, throw with your, again. With your foot. So this is like a complete Jerry split and and just wave it in the middle. Oh. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Slap in the faces yeah, of everyone. Face. Else. <laughs> <laughs> Not 20 <gasps> and one. Back to back. Now what you gotta say about those side eye. Oh. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> <laughs> You're able to reach out and grab the Jerry that is coming up with the orb. Roll your D20. 16 plus, plus six is a nice. number, 22. <laughs> and roll a D4. One. Two Four back two to back. Nat 20s. One hand with the orb, the other hand mounting your friends. And it gets to the very top. Oh. And you flip upwards. And at the very top, where we reach through what would be the roof. I love it. The <laughs> orb shoots out like a beacon. Oh. A blinding light for all of you. Now we it's too bright. And you watch the Tower of Jerry's poof, disappear into a sprinkle of sparkles. Ooh. Jerry, no. I forgot to ask, just to be clear, this orb does not look like Orlani's orb. It does not look like Orlani's orb, and it does not look like the Eye of Patches. Okay. The Eye of Patches? We'll talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and as the sprinkle has- rains down, just this rainbow of Jerry sprinkles just cascading across all of you. And as it comes down towards, <laughs> catching it like a snowflake. On you don't my want. You don't want to do that. No, it's not. It's, like, made, it's made of void energy. It's tastes like good. nutmeg. And emptiness. That's what it starts. <laughs> as. <laughs> and as, as they start to sprinkle down towards Jolene, the goat again turns its head somewhat unnaturally uh. towards you. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Work together. Okay. Is, wait, why would we do what it wants to do? I don't it's know. Really fucked up. I mean, working together is always. It sounds nice, yes, but but it wants it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what we've already been doing. And see, like, the fuck else you got for us is useful, yeah. right, guys? Jolene, do you want the end of the like? Do you want the apocalypse, or are you like reluctantly the herald? I like chaos. <gasps> Me too. My name 
confused or uh-huh. unread. But um, that uh-huh. could just be your dancing and not necessarily the end of everything. It's complicated! <laughs> Toa is this, yes. To be fair, the end of everything would probably be the least chaotic thing around. Chaos can't exist with nothing. It would be nothing. I don't know, love! I don't think Do you it, want to? I don't think it can. We know a college to go to. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you want it there. They, they will show anybody love at the college. Yeah. It's not Jolene, a person, And it's, it's a, a university. You fuck? You don't don't ask it that. You don't do, do want to know it, the answer. It's it void. My goat ass. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be a 16 to know if it fucks. <laughs> it, it does not understand what you mean. This should okay. deal psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mind answer. spike. Ah! It, the sprinkles, is, it, it starts to hit Jolene. It starts to like, when a sprinkle hits it, it just looks like the like a universe void shape as it slowly starts to dissolve in front of you. Let's make it sound. Yeah, that. And its final notes about, don't understand why together we are. Was that, was that words? It was a little bit scrambled, but I yeah. think it said it does not understand why we are together. Mm, maybe yeah. it's an important that you know something? Still, when are, I, before you leave, when are you supposed to be? What triggers your arrival? The river is slow now. The river is slow now. The river of information is certainly slow. I think that's what it meant. Yes. You mean here? Was fast, oh. now slow. We're like outside of time or something. This is not where any of us are supposed to be. It approaches. Okay. Is this a metaphorical river? All river time. Yeah, time. Okay. We're outside of the flow of time. So you're not early or late. You arrived precisely when you went to. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really when it meant to. It didn't intend to come here. <clears throat> right. I form other forms. I. I when someone else meant. Yeah. Somebody. See your story. My story? You see all of my story? Propose? The other forms. Master 17 lies. No, what does he does lie about? Fuck. Not death, birth. He lies about birth. Oh, he wants, okay. So like I said before, the, the goddess of love, maybe then someone takes the power vacuum and then, you know, someone else becomes the goddess of love. Hmm. Right, so the death of, he's trying to prevent the death of the g- 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 goddess of love. You're saying that the death is the b- birth of something else. More else. More else. Maybe that's the thing. That's the herald's. The goddess of love dies. The goat comes back. No, the thing the goat serves comes back. Yeah, no, but that's, no, we ask what triggers the goat, which then tells you, right. the bed is coming, yeah, then right. the thing comes, it's a whole... The... Bah, 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 bah. You know. Okay. Yeah. So we are fighting to prevent the apocalypse. No. I go now! Oh, Good. Way yes, too much you are pressure. very disturbing. I that does not do wish that. you well. Is everything else. I must think. Go with the lovable Agrippinia. Touch me! No! Where? Pull out a feather and touch him, like just lay the feather on him, but I don't actually make physical contact, except for the feather. I'll boop him around all our nose. Like all of us touch you? No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Your nose is very soft. I'm gonna knock my, my horn to its horn. <clears throat> its horn is soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it has the like texture of old spaghetti. Well, cooked spaghetti or yeah, hard? Don't cooked. make any sense. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to say. The void is fucking weird. Yeah, it's weird. That might be what is important. 
And uh, the goat dissolves into a strange burst of universe and a little uh, poof of sparkles. <laughs> just try to catch them on my tongue. Don't. It's so gross. It's just unhygienic. And and the Jeez, four of you are left in the room with your new friend. Well, that was weird. Is that new for you, or is that... Uh... That was very unique experience for me. You've never seen the goat before? Because the goat came with you. No, I have never seen that goat before, and okay. it was not even a goat. I have not dealt with the Eldritch very often. Very no. often. No, I have mostly dealt with earthly things. <clears throat> but it suggests that you have dealt with them before? Okay, I should probably say ever. Oh, okay. Yes. I see. Yes. Master 17 uh, appears in the room, kind of like brushing off as though he'd been on fire. And he sort of like steps what? forward and just appears and is brushing off like just epic piles of soot from him. What? Do you forget to turn off the stove? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, that's the funniest thing on the video has ever said. I don't. You mean for that to be funny? No. Oh, because it was not. <laughs> that was, no, that's out of character. <laughs> Clearly not. I don't get it. He moved away and came across some other bullshit. He said, I have to go. And then he left and he came back brushing off embers. Perhaps he was cooking. You weren't joking? No. Did you make biscuits? Damn it. I thought he was being That's fired. how I set my kitchen on the fire before. No. For reals. <laughs> Why you? I don't know. What? Perhaps I have some insight into matters of love, because much of this revolves around the goddess. Yes? Uh, yes, except for, I mean, oh, wait, yeah, even the god in the end, it seems like, okay, yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, you want us to convince you not to kill the goddess of love? The god said, they are the herald, you didn't want planning on the god. The god said, you kill the goddess of love is a birth, not a death. It'll You're going good. to bring the end of all things if and you do this. Thing. Something t t terrible and eldritch. Oh shit! Yeah, because oh. love makes the world go round. Yeah, it said you were Rust a liar, which honestly is not that surprising. I mean, at best you uh, obfuscate the truth. No. Um, Withhold it. You know. But what, what are you lying about this time? Have May I ask lie? why would you like to kill the goddess of love? Oh. I don't know why it happens. Oh yeah, that's this is thing. not an answer. He, he uh, seems to operate out of time, like, thinks it's, has, yeah, like it's uh, destined to do, wants to prevent. You're like getting, get, gonna be compelled. Sorry, I'm having a splitting headache. Or someone else offers I me. I do too. Whatever it takes, and I don't know what that is yet. What about? So you just don't say offer the highest bidder, is that what you Well, you don't know until someone makes you the offer you don't say no to. How about an offer of? Yeah. Not the apocalypse. It's pretty good. Apocalypses are not rare over the span of eternity. Um, well, we well, live over the span of a single creature's lifetime, and so we would like the apocalypse not to happen within ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you not? <laughs> Perhaps just delay to the next generation. Roll All persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> What are we, not? boomers? Fuck those kids. <laughs> Give them the apocalypse. M Michael, <laughs> Michael Jordan over here? The 16 of my Apocalypse persuasion. over there. <laughs> Can you just, like, not, please? I guess we'll find out if that was enough. <clears throat> if it doesn't happen. Oh. But this... I don't think so. I think I need to learn something from you. Okay. Well. What pieces of advice can I offer? I could say the gods are like lovers. If you follow just one, you miss out on the whole light of life. Mm. I could say that uh, the gods are like lovers, and if you're not careful, they will give you the thunderous clap. <laughs> or uh, the gods are like lovers. They will fuck you. <laughs> Is any of this helping? You study all of the peoples. Well, as many as I can find so far. 
inside and out, apparently. The gods can yes, also be like that. And also they, sometimes they will support you when you need the support. <laughs> mm. They will always be there for you. Oh my god. Not mm. all gods. My gods like that. A couple other ones. Semjua, also good. Oh. And yeah, what is really Semjua? I mean, neutral. Uh, she is a... Um, she she is um, a wine cork, but not. Um, and she... <laughs> Uh, she, um, does stuff We're with working. rain and a fountain, um, and she's good and light and great. Sam, you help. He's asking about you. Speak holy, up. Holy shit, it's like asking a kindergartner what they did at school today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it, um, um, uh, is this an animate corkscrew? What is happening? Yeah, I don't think you need to talk into the corkscrew to communicate. It helps. I mean, if it helps you. At the university, we call this object. It's my relationship with God, okay? I, don't I do what, what I want. This is, but it might be. Um, yeah. um, Sensuas um, uh, looks after things and is about nature and light and love and grain and, and harvest, harvest and stuff. Um, there you, go. you know it. Yeah, yeah, it's all coming back to me. The uh, Dwarven Sunday School. <laughs> okay. Do you not know? Real first reception. To... <laughs> Is your knowledge of gods more to do with the particular names that we might know or more about what they represent? I don't know your names. Our names? The names of our pa pantheons. They change. Okay, that's what I mean. So yeah, that's is representative of. I also don't like the idea that I am suddenly called and foretold to do something that I would not assume easily. What normally makes you do that kind of thing, like kill a god or execute, as you keep seeing, like there's yeah, have you killed other gods? It is a distinction. Well, it imposes there is a sentence. Are you a executioner? Do you, who do you listen to that would tell you to do a thing as a punishment and you would be the delivery of the, you are the guillotine. Are the guillotines in a tarot? Yeah, cool. That he is... also uses a flying one. Yes. Whoa, that's All right. right. That is a very good point. Do you have an answer to that? Do you answer Not to Not for something? you. Well then, fuck you, man. <laughs> Seriously, this place sucks. This tower, I've been beat to shit. My brain hurts, my body hurts. You've given us very little. We have a lot. You won't even give us an answer to I, who you answer I to? I don't like the games of the gods, but it is very clear that neither does he. No, he that, must like the games because all four floors of this place have been games of this asshole, not the gods. Keep in mind that these are the games of g g g gods. He's just showing us ahead of time. You Thank you. Already play these. Yeah, well. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Look, I'm. I'm on. You, I'm on your side. I'm not mad at you. Okay. I, I'm hurt. I in this sucks. And I was just. I'm hungover. I was trying to shop, and this is a whole lot of bullshit for one day. Now it rummages in her bag. <laughs> so, not a ton left, but you know, it's about that much wine. Oh fuck yeah! Here's a dog. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cranky. The Look, the Ugh. one thing that is true about the games of g g g gods is that if we learn things at the wrong time, it can have an effect that we don't want. Yeah, it's what they always say. That's what sure. they say, but it appears in this instance it is. Because somebody is clearly fucking with you too. I think so. Because of the goat, you looks like that was not something you did. And if we are all playing a game, is it better to know the rules? Or is it better to walk away? But do you want to win? Uh, if you know the rules, then you can break them. If you walk away, then someone else will just... If Take you don't this. know the rules, then nothing's stopping you from coming up with whatever way you want. Yeah, you ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Yeah. 
That's true. Yeah. You know, oh, I didn't know any better. The best way to win a game is not to know the rules. It's to fuck your way through? Yes. Yeah. So wait, here, this uh, 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 propose is, that is who you intended us to meet here, yes? To pull from the world who you would need to meet at the moment, at the end, to save love. So these are in order? The cleric and then the bear and then the tur turtle and our propose? Until things shift. Okay. That order oh. can change. Right. Yes. So, if we apparently you need to learn something from me. The only question is, what is the thing? Well, either we need to learn something. No, it's not a learning, necessarily. Oh. We figure it out because we're going to forget all the things that happened to us here. So, is that we need to figure out how either you need us or we need you when we meet again. And something to remember you by. I mean, for me, it's hopefully a massage. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. I also have free prophylactics for anybody who would like some. Oh, I take a prophylactic. Oh, okay. oh thank you. Safety's better than anything, I suppose. <laughs> Immune to disease. <laughs> I will take that back. I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> disease is including children, yes? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Half elf. What is Can't breathe. They can be. Wow. Oh, like a mule. So, yeah. I... If you learn about the world and the way it, that people love, it is not all physical, like you idiots like to play with. No, there's a okay, difference. Don't between lock love me in with that. Thank you. That's... Uh, the physical act is an expression of love, can be, but can also be separate and just something you enjoy. Doesn't mean it's love. It's usually positive, but it can also be used negatively if it's uh, without a consent. This is true, and it can express any of the emotions of the wide range that we are capable of. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. Fuck somebody. What he said. That's yeah. true. That gets it's into so the negative as well. You know. Love is the connection which binds all of us together. All of us who can think and even those creatures who cannot. Is it fundamental to the universe? Fuck yes. Significantly. What is, is at stake? Do you not know this? What is at stake is the ability for it any creatures to connect with each other, especially in a positive, lasting way. Connection, regardless of its positive and negative alignments, is an integral part of entropy. Uh, uh, elements interact, bounce off of each other. They come, they go. They, But some things attract to each other. Life goes on without love. Like there are other, there are many creatures that don't potentially feel love for each other, and they continue to procreate and build. But that you're aware of, but that's only but, because but we understand. we're also being without love. In there our... is no growth. We don't grow as a people. We don't build on each other. I mean, love. Yeah. What do you want to say? Uh, you know, we're being pretty rigid here with the definition of love. Love isn't just like. Uh, you know, love can be anything. Romantic? Friends. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessarily romantic. Yeah. It is a mode by which we are attracted to. It is other. a state it's not of that. elevated It can be the expression of passion and art and... It inspires music and art. Yeah, like gross. This. Uh, it's hard to believe that you have been a, in existence for as long as you have and you don't have an appreciation of why love is important. Grammar <laughs> doesn't fuck. <clears throat> But it's not just the fucking. I'm just kidding. No, I know, but it's not It's not that. It's like the love of nature, the love of success. It, the, I, as far as romantic love goes, I have not experienced it, but it is a driving force for me too because of the how throughout the ages people have been inspired by a love and and, and they seem to be in a the best version of it themselves when they experience love and when they can share it. Oh, like a true bard he speaks. Normally I would say it in a more jovial way, but I am beat to shit. You do Sometimes look like it stops shit. us being our best selves. Oh, you can drive people to do things way out of a character. But it is something I believe is essential to life because it is tied 
directly to hope. And if you don't have hope, then life has no point. Thank you. <laughs> Do you love each other? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well, I use like a family now. Yes, that's a thing. For the old family. Familiar but, love. No, so with your point, there is a, uh, a difference between romantic love and the familial love. And affection is, it's, it's like a, it's, it's a spectrum. My feelings and how I feel about them are d d d different than theirs, but for the time being, I do need them. And there is a certain commodum of care that comes with that. Oh, he loves, oh, he loves you. He does. You know what's interesting? Yeah. Earlier, you uh, we talk about trust with the uh, Rasar. And the, the thing I said was trust is earned, not given freely. Love is given freely. Yeah, it's not transactional. It, well, again, that's not necessarily a love, but it is. Like, I can love a propo, and it's. Uh, uh, yes, please. It, <laughs> but it's. Uh, uh, it, first impressions, the way that. Uh, the, as soon as we saw you, I had love for you. I think. Because of the reflection I see of the things that I also enjoy. Yeah, and I love um, Lamp. You know, there's things, material things I love. Um, I love I love corkscrew and um, spoon. To be fair, your corkscrew uh -huh. is not a material thing. It's your connection to uh, yeah. your god. I so love that's I love Semjua. Mm -hmm. You know that was in a little store that was, while we were shopping. that like like just a bunch of tacky shit. Yeah, well, I mean, at one point this feather was just stuck on the ass of a bird, but. Oh, yeah, it's a fat boy. <laughs> Religion's complicated. Clearly. It's not. The blue feather. <laughs> the azure bird. The symbol of the god of love is a bird. A blue bird. Hmm. The lagropinia is a feather. We are creatures that utilize s symbols often. Mm. And symbols are an important representation of our c c connections, be it to entities or concepts. This is just a tattoo of an eye. I don't think it's just a tattoo. When you were inside the dragon's mind, it was blinking. This is what I mean. It's a tool or something? It helps me. Okay. You might want to tell us how, because when it was blinking, it meant nothing to me. It is just a, a, a one of many means by which I f f f focus my mind and attune it to chaos energy to bring order to the amount that I can. But why was it blinking? What do you mean? Why was it blinking? We'll deal with this later. It's not important. They won't remember you, and you won't remember this. What a shame. Oh, until we meet again. Until you need to. Right. That's right, there is a chance that we meet again and don't. So we need some kind of symbol by which to represent you and our connection ah, to you. I see. Well, you have the prophylactics that I provided with you. Mm. Yes. Perhaps that can represent this moment like a symbol that comes back around. What is this made out of? Uh, uh. Well, it is made out of the extract of a tree. Oh. Ah. Yes. A, a rubber? <laughs> yes, that, yes. That, like a rubber tree. That, that we way. have not figured out how to remove all of the psychedelic properties, but we believe that adds to the experience. That's amazing. I, oh. You don't want it, I'll take it. Everyone should take one to connect with you. Oh. Yeah, you need it as an item. Mm. All right. Psychedelic prophylactic. Mm -hmm. That's it's a good band name. Yeah, I don't, name. I don't need it, but it sounds like it might be worth using anyway. <laughs> oh man, combining these with the mushrooms? 
Go sprinkle some on. <laughs> I don't understand, and I don't think I want to. Probably Thank you. Not. Thank you. You see what I have to put up with here. But I want, if it was you, pulled as a thread from wherever your story was, and winds now through this one. Oh, we should figure this out. Uh, uh, what are your uh, struggles? What do you uh, do? You have anything apparent? You I, in an order? I struggle to understand and make sure that I have properly researched what I have about certain civilizations, because the amount of misinformation is vast, and so I seek and struggle for accuracy in what I report. What do you know about the Hest? Who? The Hest. Uh, Hest, the, the god of lies. Nothing. Oh. Have you ever experimented with love that's not physical? It's just... Yes, it is not so much a part of my culture, but I have love for many of my friends with whom I have not crossed the physical barrier. I think it is places of scholarship, outside of traditional thought. Hmm. How do we get to your to your university? Oh well, you go to the far eastern forest, mm -hmm. and then you walk for a long time. It well, helps if you have some sexy music playing. Usually, mm -hmm. one of the scouts will find you. Oh, we can figure that out. Yeah, there's a campus in Portales. Oh. Oh. That's where I it's, like. It's somewhat of a franchise now, so you can <laughs> also. Kind of more of a bar, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just went to a bar. I don't think you, I think you just hooked up at a bar. I don't. When you are most lost for information about why we connect with each other at all, you have something with you for just in that case. Fuck off. For just in case. It is about connecting with people and then the fundamental connections of the universe. It is. Hmm. Perhaps if the threads are weak. Hmm. Separate. If you're separated, hmm. you will bring them back together. I can most definitely try, yes. Do We're supposed to keep this around, lost. but I won't try it. It's the only one you have, I wouldn't. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. Mm. You got, got any more? Always. Yeah. Just like the accordion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a box, a scroll. <laughs> Just open that. Throw it around like a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> you seek to find information, and they need, I hope, want, mm. and will complete this story. But there are other gods who will work very hard to pull you apart. Yeah. And burn this tapestry. And change things. Away from the fates. And what is a story we are supposed to tell. And if they are lost, you will help them find each other. And they will know you. When in doubt, open the package. And perhaps something magical will happen. Yeah. If if we're not ready to use it, we could just put it down like a like a cucumber or a yam oh. or a carrot oh. or your on horns. Your horns. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tail. Yeah. Okay. Just cover me. So finger. You can put it over your head and inflate it. <laughs> It's an make, excellent game. Oh, make them into water balloons. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Master 17. You, <laughs> you, have, you have insisted, and I believe you when you say that we will not 
recall this when we have left here. How about to you? Some of this will be lost to me as well. That's how we. I can't know it, or they will know. I know, and it is the same for you. Who is they? I will purge what is safest. Right. Who is they? The gods, the fates, and then everything else past them. The things that shouldn't know, the things that... Jolene. Jolene. <clears throat> oh, the things of the void, yes. Jolene. Jo Jolene. 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 I need to send you all back. And I have things to investigate as well. Many mysteries have come from meeting you. Mm. Like why us? <laughs> and many answers. That you are not alone. And it may not seem like if we meet again, I am there to help you. We may be adversaries. Oh, crap. Do you have any weaknesses we can exploit to prevent you from killing the goddess of our love? I have given you everything I can. I don't think that's tough. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, oh wait, this would actually help with the plot. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 14 insight. You believe he is telling you the truth. He has done everything he can to help you with the path forward for what the fates are weaving already. It's the truth from a certain point of view, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Master 17, I hope you do not kill the goddess of love. I think it will be detrimental to the world. And I think you will find that out as you proceed. Through time, backwards in time, however it is you exist, you will realize that love is important in this world. Yeah, can you just not? Also, here's a prophylactic to remember everybody. <laughs> He's never fucked. He's never used the condom. <laughs> it's an infused item, so from inside his robe, it's like 2,000 uh, years out of the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he likes it uh, all. <laughs> he just turns around and he dusts the like, extra bit of ash off his shoulders. Wait, what caused that? What were you d d d d doing? Vaporizing enemies. What enemies? I didn't know that vaporized enemies turned into ash. It depends I on... I think he might have been lying. I mean, it depends on the or type of enemy. understand what vaporize means yeah. versus... Uh, turning to air instead of ash and flame, yes, sure. Uh, who can say? Va va vampires like to ash. It's a whole thing. All fire produces vapor. Okay. It does. We only pretend it was science facts. Rest goes into oxygen and. Uh, well, let's water. save science facts. Dice unfolded. <laughs> as we come to the end of this episode, the end of episode seventeen. Good number. Part four. <laughs> <laughs> Better number. <laughs> and I want to thank our guest today. Chris Murdoch! <laughs> Not only are you a huge part of making the looks and sweet fits happen at this table and our merch and all the other things that come together to participate in making the show happen behind the scenes, but you have been a beautiful addition and this character <laughs> is something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mr. Tumnus at Fox. <laughs> we will we will meet you in the world again when they need you the most. Oh, excellent. And if they are There's separated. Any more disgusting gadgets. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna learn more about your character and your build in our Dice Unfolded episode. And I want to thank our audience for coming along the ride with us. It's been a very special experience here in the Tower of Doom, meeting and spending some time with Master 17 as we propel this story forward in our interaction with the gods. And if you've done anything like this before, I would love to hear about it. Find out, I want to find out all the things about the things that you've built, modified monsters, how you've done this kind of an experience before for your players, because when you roll the dice, you make the magic happen. Goodbye, everybody! Hey!